Hello, people! Welcome back to our podcast. And uh, today we are going to be kind of talking about what what pisses people off, but not everybody. Just 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 me and uh, Rafiki. The other day, you know, yeah. I was at, I was just you know in a public area. Mm-hmm. It doesn't. It happens a lot where you know you go into a public restroom, and you know you, you see the guy at the stall with his pants and his underwear down to his fucking ankles. Oh, whoa, okay. Do you know how much that drives me crazy? Well, I mean... Because that's not something you 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 just decide to do. That's something you're taught to do. Like, your dad, when you were six years old, brought you into a public bathroom, pulled his pants and underwear all the way down to the bottom and said, Hey, little Billy, this is how it's done. Those people all need to be put down. Yeah, I don't, I don't. It's wrong. I can't recall last time I saw someone were to pull their whole pants down just for a quick piss. Oh my god, I see it all the time, man. Really? Yeah. Like, man, you must be going around weird areas. Because <laughs> I, I hardly ever see that. But actually, I can't remember last time I did. Well, it's it. You don't see it much now because public restrooms aren't really open anymore. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. I don't Walmart. Understand. It happens all the time. I don't understand why people would do that. Honestly, it's just like, why? Don't it's not necessary to pull it all the way down. And it's not like everything in life pisses me off. It's just those little little things. It's just like what the fuck? <laughs> like I, I fucking hate it when someone comes up to me on the street, someone I don't know and says, Hey boss or hey chief. You don't know me. I'm not your boss, I'm not your chief. Yeah. That's fuck odd. Fuck off. I had this one guy, he came up to me, uh I was walking uh home to uh, from school the one day. And uh, he was going around. I saw him go up to an old lady. Uh, he was saying some weird stuff. And then he came up to me and he's like, uh, could, I, could I pray for you? Right? Me, I, I'm, I don't usually say no to nothing. Uh, but I said, yeah, sure. I, I guess you could pray for me, right? And he decides to just start going like, you know, fucking uh, our paths have crossed uh, once again. And I'm like, again? What do you mean again? <laughs> like, have, I, have we met before? Well, with, when it comes to... So- <laughs> People going up to random people on the street and saying, "Can I pray for you?" I I understand that that's your religion. You know, you want to give people blessings and whatnot. But if it's not my religion and you don't know if it's my religion, just, take, just leave me alone. Yeah, I don't want you to force your religion onto me. Can I pray for you? What the fuck's that gonna do? Yeah, you never know. I mean, you never know. Actually, it I- could make you feel better. You want to pray for me? Go ahead. But it's not doing anything for me. So why are you bothering me in the middle of the day? Well. Well, I got shit to do. Okay, fair enough. But like, if you if you really think about it, you know, someone decided to go out of their way, right, and and bless, hopefully your day and and or your future. You know, someone decided to do that, which I have no problem with. Yeah. I don't. If you are a Catholic or a religious person in any way, go ahead, pray for me all you want. You don't have to come up and tell me that you're gonna do it. All right, fair enough. But I guess like I guess having that that. Person to person, you know, face to face type See, of feeling. Is... I feel like there are certain situations in where it's okay. Like, suppose you're in the hospital with a loved one mm-hmm. and you're sitting in the waiting room waiting to hear from the doctor, and you, the person next to you asks, you know, how you're doing, and they, uh, you tell them how you're doing. Of course, they can put you in your prayers, you know, yeah. they can put. But if I'm walking down the street not showing any signs that I'm having a shitty day, why are you praying for me? Yeah, who knows? If you feel the need to pray for me, I feel like you should be praying for yourself. Huh. How so? Why? Like, why? Do you, yeah. What? If you believe to the point where you need to go up to a random person on the street and ask them to pray, can I pray for you? You know what I mean? Why? What's going on in your life that you feel like you need to go pray for other people? Do you feel like you're better than everybody else? Well, why? Okay, well, you're you're probably thinking that because if. Maybe if you put yourself in that position, that's what you might be doing. What if what if that guy, girl, whoever it may be, right, comes up to you and thought, you know, it was just their mission for that day or for their life, you know? Like, they think that maybe if they prayed for enough so, to a certain people, So you, know? you think that their their entire life's purpose is to force their religion onto other people? I wouldn't say force their religion. They try to do something genuinely nice, right? And, of course, everyone's got different religions. Everyone believes in different things, right? Don't get me wrong. I don't judge these people for believing in whatever they believe in. I don't care. Believe in whatever you want. Mm -hmm. But 
what I'm trying to say is if I'm walking down the street and I'm I look fine, I'm not bleeding from my face, like there's no reason for you to pray for me. Okay, okay, but imagine this, imagine this. Let's say it, since it could be on any day, right? This could just be you. So it's a random day and that day you just so happen to feel just a little down, you know, under the weather, you know, you weren't having the best day, and someone, you know, just said just said to themselves, like, hey, out of all the people I could go up to and pray to, I'm gonna do it to this guy. How would you feel afterwards that someone did that for you? I would feel like that person should have minded their business. Because if I'm already having a bad day, if I'm already having a bad day and you're walking up to me asking to pray for me, you're getting knocked. You're getting knocked out. That's it. <laughs> like wow, my god. Like, mind your damn business. <laughs> All right. So you you really like the idea of like you know doing things out of a reasoning. Yeah, there's got to be a reason for something. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like, imagine that. Like, what if everything is for a reason? That person didn't just, you could have went to anyone, but for some reason he went to you, not because of how you looked or how you acted, but it just felt right to them. You know, then then how, what would you think? I feel like I would need to change my outfit, because clearly I'm giving off the wrong vibe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's the fit, but uh, it could be your attitude. You know, people can sense it. A lot of they people. can sense that I don't give a shit? Well, not this, that, like... Okay, let's say you don't give a shit, right? But there's there's a reason why you got up to that moment and why you don't give a shit. You know? Is there? Yes, of course. Like, think about it. Like, or am I your... just a so sociopath? <laughs> so, you know, I don't, I don't even want to know. You're not, right? <laughs> You've known me for how long? And you don't know if I'm a sociopath or not? There's things that you don't know about me yet, still. Oh, I know. I'm well aware. Okay, well then. But I know well, that you're not a sociopath. Uh, how do you know, huh? How do I know? Because every time we've ever been in an emotional situation, you've handled it correctly. Oh. Actually, I don't even remember those. <laughs> I remember them all, but I've never handled one correctly. Explain on, like, explain on one that we had similar, that we have to both kind of, like, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean like, by that? Like, when I see, you know, a girl is upset mm -hmm. or, or angry or, or I don't know how to help them. I don't know how to calm them down. The only three things I know how to do is pat them on the back and say they're there and maybe give them a hug. That's it. Damn. Other than that, I have no clue how to help them. They're on their own. I'm <laughs> the worst person to be in a relationship with. Damn. Well, um, I guess it kind of takes a lot of uh, experience with trying to figure out what would be best for that scenario. I'm guessing, like, you know, you you had mainly brothers in your life, right? And you know, Two brothers, one sister. Yeah, so, like, for me, it's a little different. I got... I was pretty much at one point living with just my sister and my mom, right? So I'm always around that uh, female aspect, you know, the atmosphere is like that. So when they ask for help, it's not, it's not really them asking for help. It's more like they just want someone to listen. They just want to be heard, right? And it's difficult for me because I think very logically, mm -hmm. right? And you hear all this about women wanting equal rights and, you know, feminism and all that, yeah. which is great. Give them equal rights. I don't care. It doesn't affect me. But, you know... As soon as they have an emotional crisis, you know, I have to treat them differently. So, you know, everybody's telling, you know, people to be feminist mm -hmm. and treat women the same as you would treat men. If a man, if a man comes to me upset, I'm going to punch him in the shoulder, tell him to get the fuck over it and move on. I can't do that with a girl. Fair enough. Okay, so what you're saying is that, like, what, like, guys don't really get that like empathy that they're that they need kind of way because like I, I just don't feel sympathetic if you're crying because you're having a bad day mm -hmm. make it better move on life goes on fair enough i mean yeah i guess like you know all the past is in the past you can't really you can't hang on to it right like if you're having a bad day go do something fun yeah you know i wish someone told me that like a while ago you know but what, what women not all women of course but what some women tend to do mm -hmm. is They'd spend the rest of the day upset because something didn't go well. Yeah, that boggles my mind. It's like, why milk? Why milk that all day? Like, come on, one bad thing happens to you, all right? And that's normal. That's normal to happen, right? You need the bad days in order to, to, to understand the better ones. Like, women are very emotional creatures. Yeah. Which, good for them, whatever. Not my problem. You know what? I'm I just don't understand it, is what I'm saying. I'm starting to think that, like, uh, that they're not, okay, like, that men can experience uh equivalent or if not more like an emotional thing like uh, how do i explain it? Uh, like 
there was this test study that happened that uh, there was these two kids, one guy, one girl, and they heard the baby monitor go off, right? And so the baby's crying, and the, the girl of uh, the test subjects, I guess you could say, uh, said, oh, you know, what do we do? Should we go check on it, right? And the boy said nothing and just turned it off. But what the, what the people behind the no, room... No, I know exactly why that is. Because women are programmed to hear that higher-pitched noise mm-hmm. and respond to it for humanity's survival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, that's not what I was trying to get at. Like, w- what I was going to finish was um, when it came to seeing how they reacted, uh, they did uh, the studies of, like, uh, how their bodies felt. Like, did they experience fear in that moment? Did they, you know, hesitate or something they like that? They felt the need to help. They No, they've seen that boys, when it came to that scenario, they are terrified. They're scared. They don't know what to do, right? While girls are more like, okay, you know, this this is a kid, right? This is, you know, another another being, right? And uh, they said, you know, they're, of course, what you said, they're programmed to pretty much care and nurture, right? Well, us guys don't really know how to how to do that that well. <laughs> well, it's no one's fault that that happens because, you know, it's years of evolution yeah. and change that, you know, the mothers have always provided for the children. Mm-hmm. The mothers bear the children. Uh, if you... Here's a little tip for all you creepos out there. If you were to sneak into a woman's bedroom while they're sleeping and you don't want to wake them, uh-huh. use a low-pitched tone when you speak. I've if, noticed that, yeah. If women will not wake up to a low-pitched sound. But a high-pitched sound, it's like, oh, baby's crying. Got to wake up now. Wow, that's uh, I guess that's something some random guys can use going into a, a girl's place. You know, yeah, no. we, don't, we don't condone this. <laughs> no. Uh, but anyone who uses that for negativity, you're fucking weird. Get out of get out of my face. Uh, but, St- Stalker Jimmy's gonna be like, oh come on. <laughs> starts listening to the podcast because these guys can help us with mm-hmm. weird shit. No, that's not our goal here, people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what the fuck? But um, where was I going? I was going somewhere with this. Um, I don't know where were you going. I don't even know. <laughs> I kind of forgot. Uh, that threw me off. All right. Next topic. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, uh, zodiac signs. Um, so. Oh my god. Yeah. Earlier in the car, you and I were discussing how, how maybe being born on a certain time of the year, etc., could mash up your personality. You you said I remember you saying that like it just sounds impossible to be it doesn't born. Doesn't make sense to me. Okay. Explain explain why it doesn't make sense to you. Because, what difference does it make? Where you are in position to the sun mm-hmm. when you're born. What does it, does it have it make on your personality? What defines a personality is what you've been through. Mm-hmm. You know what you have to deal with, what your responsibilities are. Mm-hmm. You know if you're a spoiled brat or you know an underprivileged kid. It it builds mm-hmm. your personality. If you want an independent kid, don't spoil him. Make him work for what he needs. Mm-hmm. If you know you want a spoiled rotten brat. Give them whatever you need. It's not it has nothing to do with the position of the sun. It has to do with the way you were raised. Fair enough. Okay, I agree with you for that. Um, okay, but like, how? Let's say, for example, like you know how people are like, uh, oh, he's a Taurus. Oh, he's a Aquarius. And then they they find what what makes up an Aquarius or a, you know just any other zodiac signs. Like, have you seen? Have you like seen how a lot of them are similar? Like, if I were to pull up. What your personality may be like. Like, I'm a Libra. Yeah. If I pulled up... What, what does that have anything to do with my oh. personality? Okay, well, I bet you if I search up what a Libra, like, has for personality traits, you would probably agree to a majority of them, right? Well, this is where I sort of understand it, and, you know, I also get my doubts. Mm-hmm. If you were born in September, like mm-hmm. I was, yes, you know, you're, for the first few months of your life, you are absorbing a lot. You don't know it, you don't remember it, but you're absorbing a lot of information. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're born in September and the first few months of your life, your parents, of course, are breastfeeding you or bottle feeding you and caring for you 24-7. As soon as the breastfeeding and all that care stops and slows down, you know, you got Christmas coming up or, or whatever, big family gatherings, it starts to change your personality even that early. You know what Mm -hmm. I mean? Yep. It's, it. If you're born in March, you know, you have all of that time with no holidays, no, no big events. Depends on what's going on in your parents' lives. That creates your personality. Mm-hmm. 
that's what I, okay that's what i was kind of trying to get at like if you're born on a specific month okay now imagine like everything that leads up for the rest of that year is going to somehow shape you in a way right you know valentine's day holidays right you name it right depending what you don't experience in your first life you will experience in your second year right so it's kind of like giving you a chance on how you would act during uh like a mood right like during the atmosphere at that point so you know you get kids that are born later in the year you know they're experiencing a lot right especially what you just said you know you were born in september so you get to experience a bunch of things that happen you know new year's comes up yeah. born in september i was born in september then mm-hmm. it was halloween thanksgiving yeah uh, christmas all of that mm-hmm. right you know, one after another after i was born i love christmas i do i love it I never not like christmas mm-hmm. but i don't think that has anything to do with the day i was born no okay it's probably not gonna there is no actual origin to how you you shape your personality it's all based on you right and it's not even just you it's your parents your family Mm -hmm. you know the the things that happen to you when you're young shape the way you're going to be for the rest of your life it's not and and you know what also is true if you want to be a different personality type you can be you can change your personality on a dime all you got to do is think about it yeah, but I guess it's hard because if you, it is hard. But yeah. you gotta like. Right now, what I believe mm-hmm. is you put your brain in a cage. This is who I am. Okay. At any moment, as long as you break through that wall, you can be whoever you want, whenever you want to do it. Mm-hmm. There's no limit on what you can do. If you want to be an asshole, be an asshole. If you want to be the nicest guy in the world, be the nicest guy in the world. All right. I guess it comes down to like when it when it comes to that moment. Are they going to react in a way where they thought it through or are they just going to react in a way that feels right? Because a lot of people, what they tend to do is they pick between emotions versus logical. And sometimes it's a terrible way to pick. Well, that's why we're a great team. I'm very logical all the time. Mm -hmm. You're emotional. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, I can experience it a lot more. You think about things very short and then you make a decision. Mm Mm-hmm. I think about things quickly, but logically, and in a way that, you know, sort of... We're kind of well-balanced, I'd yeah. say, you and I are, which makes this whole... Any situation that we come in through, it just makes it easy, because we have both perspectives on things. Which know? brings me back to things that piss people off. Friends, when they come to me for advice, do the opposite... And then come back for more advice. Oh, I hate those type of people, man. It's like you should have listened to me to begin with. Yeah, <laughs> because I have more friends like you who are very emotional and not logical, mm-hmm. and they get into a fight with their girlfriend or whatever, right? Yep. And they come to me saying, "What should I do? What should I do?" I tell them the most logical thing to do. Not, it doesn't have anything to do with her feelings. Doesn't have anything to do with his feelings. This is what you should do. It makes the most sense in this particular scenario. And then they go and they do the opposite. They get drunk. They call her, you know. Yeah, man. Okay, I feel that. I guess they're, you know, when it comes to, like, uh, you know, really bad scenarios between a couple, you know, they don't like to think logically. They, they like, they're going through a it's bunch of even, emotions. It's not even always couples. Right? Uh, it's, it's just, it's just pe- two anything people. With any advice. Yeah, two people that just aren't agreeing or are agreeing on something, but it's just not working out. Or is I don't know. You, you, you choose a scenario. It's gonna be. That's how you're gonna talk to me. You you know I think very logically. Yes, I'm aware. If you were to come to me with for advice, mm-hmm. and I would give you some, you came to me for advice because my brain works differently than yours. Yeah. So why would you not follow my advice? Maybe maybe it's because they want to uh, like maybe they think that their way might be able to actually get. Then Somewhere. why would they come to me to begin with? Probably just, I don't know. I don't, uh, you know what they wanted? They wanted encouragement. They wanted mm-hmm. they wanted me to agree with them so they go do something stupid. Uh, yeah, it, honestly, that could be. That could be a reason. Yeah. I mean, of it, course, there's others, but... I'm the most honest person you'll ever meet. If I think what you're going to do is stupid as hell, I'm going to fucking tell you. <laughs> I'm going to smack you straight. How many times have I smacked you straight? Oh, you know the amount of people that you should see then? A lot, especially in this day and age. Like, God damn. Man. Especially- and, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I'm perfect and give the greatest no, of advice. Course, I get it, but I just think about it differently. Mm-hmm. 
you know, if you're going through an emotional time and you're struggling and you want advice and you come to me, I don't give a fuck about how you're feeling. I give a fuck about the facts. Yeah, see, I guess that's what draws the line between you and me, you know, like you're, you're all about the actions, the facts, right? I'm more about, yeah, the feelings, you know, how, how would they feel in this moment? What, like, what could this do for their mental health long term, et cetera, right? Because I can't. Why, why does anyone have to live in a world full of, like, hate or sadness, right? It just, it sucks, but it's, it's the proper balance, you know? If you had a world that was just straight happiness all the time, you Nobody wouldn't would be, be happy. happy. Exactly, right? It would just be peaceful because now you, you, don't, you couldn't understand happiness if you didn't understand the bads, right? Like, uh, you, know, you know the saying, um, can't have the rainbows without the rain? It's it's like when I first heard uh, heard about that, I was like, yeah, you know, that makes so much sense. So you gotta have the bad times in order to have the good times. Which is, it's, we've gotten way off topic. My point was, you know, if you're gonna come to me for advice, take it. <laughs> <laughs> and if you wanna, if you wanna come to me for, I don't even know, fucking, I guess, uh, emotional support. Emotional support. Yeah, I guess I'll be that person. Yeah. If you wanna just talk it out, I'm here. I can listen. And this is why we work. Yeah. Okay. Especially when it comes to like conversations. We've had some conversations that should have been emotional for me. But I I just give you, like, this is what's happening. You know, here, this is step one, step two, step three. And then you've got something going on. You come to me and you tell me all of it. Ah, Every every fucking thing. (laughs) There's so much detail. Which, I I mean, I don't mind. I'll sit there. I'll listen for four hours about your problems. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you fuck. And then, you know, ten minutes later, I fixed your problem. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Uh, I suppose. I don't know. I guess people just, once once they got the spotlight, they want to keep it, right? And I guess that's why a lot of people like drama in their life. They want to be able oh, to talk drama about it. Queens, Max. Oh my god. Uh, I, I'm not a drama queen, but you know, I just I don't like drama. But it is interesting. It, it gets it, You're not a drama queen. I'm not. I went to high school with some girls. And I'm not gonna mention their names, but these two girls were not the prettiest in high school. They mm. were my friends, they were good people. But I feel like every day they had another 10-hour story about the most dramatic shit that happened to them the <laughs> night before. And I was, f- uh, one day I was just fucking fed up with it. I went to the cafeteria to sit down with them for lunch. And I, they just started going on and on about what happened the night before. I got up, walked away, didn't say a fucking thing. I was done. <laughs> I was like, I want to listen to this. I just wanted to come and enjoy my lunch. See, like, I don't, I don't mind listening to the gossip like that, but if it's taken too long and they still haven't hit a point to it, yeah, I'm going to be annoyed and pro- probably do the same thing as you. Just get up and go. Because if you're just going to talk and talk and talk and get to nowhere with it, you've wasted my time. It's like, I had something to say. I, I had news. Mm-hmm. Did I get to say it? No. No. Because... You stepped on a fucking Lego last night. My bad. Oh, <laughs> whoop de doo <laughs> Tell your brother to pick it up next time. <laughs> Fuck, I don't care. <sighs> and I felt like this girl's grandma died like six times in one year. You ever get those people? Yeah. Who just make up shit all the make, time to get attention? I hate attention whores, man. I can't. Like, My sister's one of them. Oh, jeez. Fucking, I remember... Uh... Uh, people, when I was at high school, there was always something about me that people were got, like, telling about, rumors that were spreading. And I don't understand why. Like, I've never actually talked to these people before at all in high school. And apparently they're spreading rumors about me. Like, that, that's something about high school that I never really experienced. Good. I, I kind of kept to myself for the most part. I didn't really have much friends in high school until grade 11 and 12. Mm-hmm. So for the first two years of high school, I kind of just. I hung out with the chaplain. Okay. I, I, you know, I didn't like to go outside and hang out with the other kids because fuck people. People <laughs> suck. People fucking suck. Okay. So, you know, I, especially when there's huge crowds, it's too noisy. I, too many people talking. I, I need to go somewhere else. That's true. You can't really like. So, you know, I, I sat in the chaplain's office every day for lunchtime and we, we just talked about what was going on. Had a nice conversation. We didn't, you know, there was no drama involved. Of course, he was faculty. He couldn't really tell me about his life fucking problems. 
Oh, I don't know. High school wasn't too bad. It was just, I don't know. It's a lot of bad shit that you remember when you're in it. But once you leave it, then like you always remember the good times. Yeah, like, because I didn't have a lot of friends for the first couple of years, there weren't any rumors about me. Mm-hmm. If there were, I never even found out about them. Yeah. So I don't care. And f- for me, in my opinion, if someone w- has something to say about you behind their back, good for them. They don't fucking know your, pro- your story. Let me tell you one thing. Fucking, uh... There was this one time uh, near the end of high school. Uh, I had this friend group, right? Uh, this one guy was dating this one girl. And uh, apparently they started talking mad shit about everyone else in the friend group, including me. And uh, when my other friend pretty much dropped them and said, hey, you know, I don't want you guys to pick a side, but this might happen, right? You're going to have to pick a side. It's either me or them. And, you know, I, I, of course, I didn't want to pick a side right away. You know, they're my friends. I didn't want to fucking, you know, be in a split group. But turns out that the guy and the girl that were dating talked shit. I didn't know why because all I did was try to be nice to them, right? The girl ended up blocking me but being fake the entire time. And so did the guy. It came down to them leaving because they don't want to handle the situation anymore, even though they started it. And now we got, I say, I got the fucking, the, the great end of the stick, I guess you could say. Yeah. Well, have you ever had a toxic friend? Yes. You know, they come in to your friend group, right? And they, they, um, they're, they're okay at the beginning. You don't see anything wrong with them. You welcome them in mm-hmm. and, you know, t- they, you invite them to one of your group hangouts and this was the first red flag that this guy was a toxic friend. The second time our group hung out, he, we didn't invite him this time. Mm-hmm. And all, like, right away he saw that we were hanging out together. He was like, wow, guys, can't believe you didn't invite me to group hangs or whatever. I was like, what the fuck? Who are you? We met, we hung out, like, once. Wow. So then we started inviting him again because we wouldn't want to be petty about it. Mm-hmm. Right? And this guy, you know, he has a problem with one of the other people in our group. So he takes everybody aside, one by one. He's like, yo, we should kick this guy out of our group. We should kick this guy out of our group. He's being a dick. The fuck? He's like, who the, what? Who are you? <laughs> this guy's been in our group for four years. You've been here for a week. Why would we trust you? Yeah, that makes no sense. I hate people that try to take control of other people's really, like friendships and yeah, stuff. Yeah, they like come that. in, they try and climb the ladder so fast to be the top tier of the friend group. It's like, yeah. That's what makes kicking other people out on the way. Uh, that's what makes no sense to me. Like, how could you be top tier in 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 a friend group that is that all have their own unique? Yeah, we're one tier. We're all yeah. one. Like, you want to be above us all? Go find another. Group. Go find another group. Exactly. Like, we don't want that. If you think you're better than us? You don't belong here. Exactly. Ugh, that's you know, that's the great thing about having friends is that you don't people don't really understand why they're friends with a specific person. But it, it comes to a lot of similarities, right? Like, oh, we like this, and so do I. And, uh, oh, he takes interest in this once in a while. And, you know, it kind of sparked my interest, right? How do you think we became friends? Honestly, I remember you and I, like, I can't even remember exactly when I was like, yeah, he's my friend type thing, right? It just... It's, the first day we worked together, I got this job. Uh-huh. And you were working there. And we just started... You know, there was music playing. We just both started dancing at the same time. Yeah, yeah. And that's when I was like, okay, this guy's kind of cool. You know, he's he's got the same vibe going on <laughs> as I do. So it, we didn't like start hanging out right then and there. No, no. But we, you know, we talked at work a whole bunch, and then eventually I invited you over to my place, and we just started chilling. And uh-huh. now we see each other almost every day. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> uh, fucking all that within a year. Yeah, it's pretty good, honestly. But yeah, like. I don't think anyone can say when they became friends. And, and the funny thing about guy friends and then girlfriends, right, is that when girls are friends with other girls, like, they will be all nice and shit together and stuff like that. But once that girl leaves, they're like fucking animals, man. Oh, yeah. They're frenemies. That's what they call them. Yeah, like, what the hell type of psycho shit is this? You guys are either friends and you don't talk shit about each other, or you're not friends and you can talk shit about each other. Like, with guys... Usually when we like, if I have a problem with you, I tell you straight yeah, up. Yeah, like shut the fuck up, like, <laughs> dumbass. You know, fucking idiot, right? Like we know. That, that and that's the end of it. That's yeah. it. 
Voila! <laughs> There's no frenemy relationship for four years, and then you realize you've been fighting over fucking nothing for three kind of the whole time. Girls change friends like they change shoes, man. Like, they talk about loyalty and stuff like that, but i never, ever seen... Well, okay, maybe a few here and there, but I've never actually seen, like, a girl that's had a friend for a long period of time. Long period of time. Something happens, you know? Fucking, oh, she was my best friend, and now she's this. She was my uh great friend now she's just a fucking dick right but for guys you know it'd be like you know we didn't really became like we stopped being friends because we just stopped communicating right it doesn't happen due to one big fight yeah there'd be times where it's like you know all oh, this guy's a fucking asshole right why are you even put up with him right but, but if you if we get into a big fight all you have to do is buy me a fucking beer and we're straight we're yeah. good like it's easy it's easy like girls will hold on to it like like forever like if two guys get into a fight Sometimes magically happens, but after the fight, they become best bros. Like, it's crazy. I fucking love it. But when girls get into a fight, 8, 20 years down the road, they're still going to be hating each other. Oh, yeah. For sure. And, oh, God, it's, it boggles my mind. Like, how could you hate, how could you hate something for that long? Just let it go. It's in the past. It's, it's strange, you know, the differences between men and women. I don't know where I was going with that. I, I don't. No, oh, there's a difference. I, st- I started a thought, and then it was just gone. It just disappeared. Oh. You ever have a friend that, you know, you like hanging out with, mm-hmm. starts off all nice and whatever, and then all of a sudden, you know, starts doing some, what's the word, uh, um, sus- suspicious crap. Oh, okay, yeah. Like. Weird shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like my buddy, I had a buddy, I used to work with him. Uh, we used to go to the casino a bunch, yeah, which was fine. You know, we he brought his own money, I brought my own money, and then he started to forget his wallet. So I gave him some money, and he gambled it away. I'm telling you, right now, this day, still, he owes me four hundred dollars. Has he even communicated? No, since? I haven't heard from him in months. Jeez. He has a huge gambling ad- addiction, which I didn't know at first, mm-hmm. but he literally used me for money. So now. You know, you got to be careful who you become friends with. Yeah, man, definitely, for sure. It's, Just, it was so easy in high school. You know, you make a friend, you hang out with a friend, he does something you don't like, or she does something you don't like, and you're gone. Yeah. But now, you know, you feel like you're responsible to help that person. Uh-huh. You're not. You're not supposed to be. I know it's, it feels like a terrible thing, you know, trying to help someone that you know you shouldn't be helping. Help yourself first. Yeah. Like... I wish, you know, people had the ability to see what someone else's true intentions are towards them. You know, just because they're nice doesn't mean they got something planned for you, right? Like, you know, there's a lot of nice people out there, but they're there to use you. Like, near the end of him and I hanging out, and he asked me, can we go to the casino? I was so close just driving him to a fucking rehab center so we couldn't gamble anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't think they do that. No. Gambling addictions. It's more for drugs, but, you know. Oh, fucking, I had this, uh... This one friend. Are there gamblers and animals drug thing? I have no idea. Probably. I don't know. But uh, I had this one friend who, uh, you know, was chill at first. Uh, not going to name his name, of course. But uh, everything was going fine. You know, we're having lots of laughs. We're just chilling all the time. Just, you know, made school a little easier for one another. And, uh, you know, I thought he was a really good friend. And his birthday came up for one day. And I decided, this is when I was like, working a lot of hours but like hella dumb with my money so i bought this kid one of the newest xboxes the xbox one at the time yeah so i bought him an xbox just so that we could play both together just because i thought you know you buy me one now (laughs) if you ask 15 year old me yeah maybe (laughs) or if you're kind enough but uh yeah (laughs) um yeah so i got him the xbox and you know i'll be kind enough when you're sleeping on my couch now oh okay okay (laughs) Uh, so yeah, then my birthday came up, right? Nah, I, honestly, I wasn't expecting like four hundred dollars back. It's not that's not how I work. You know, I'm not gonna buy you something expensive knowing I'm gonna try to get something expensive back. It's it's stupid. But I even even something as little as twenty dollars in a fucking gift card saying happy birthday. You know, like that that would have made my day. That would have done it, right. That would have it was all debt repaid. Now you know what this kid does on my birthday? He gives me. A mini slurp in Fortnite says happy birthday. 
And I was like, this is, this is a joke, right? And he's just laughing. He's like, no, uh, yeah, of course, though. I'm going to get you a present soon. Yeah. Bro, I'm waiting three years still. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's this is where I, I'm a little bit of a hypocrite because I love Christmas. I love giving people gifts. Mm-hmm. I hate receiving them. You hate receiving gifts? I do. I do because I feel like if you were to give me a gift and it's not as valuable as the gift I gave you, now I feel like I'm socially contracted to get you something better. I feel that as well, man. Like That's why I don't really like when people say, oh, what do you want for your birthday or what do you want for your yeah, I want nothing. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. So if your birthday comes along and I happen to forget mm-hmm. and I give you nothing, we're square. Yeah, exactly. It's like it's like I don't actually have to owe you anything. But it like the only times that I think would be acceptable just to give a gift without receiving back is just 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 do it you know like do it on a random day you know they'll they'll like you and you all you gotta tell to them is saying you're not in debt this is a gift it is for you that is it that's only happened to me once yeah that's and it was last year during the first quarantine my buddy Mm -hmm. his dog died oh this on this day and he just he he goes on a drive to clear his head he was upset and he goes to the mall, and he picks up this record player that I had told him months earlier that I would want to buy for myself. Mm-hmm. And he just calls me and says, hey, I got a gift for you. I'm stopping by to drop it off. I was like, oh, okay. Like, there was no birthday. There was nothing. It just felt like getting me a gift. So I was mm-hmm. like, okay. So he comes, he drops it off. It's the record player I wanted. I didn't know what to say. Yeah, <laughs> I, was I, like, I was like, thank you, but why? Yeah, and it's like, there's something. You want something. What is it, Meg? Just tell me, right? But no, I like I like those people that just genuinely give without expecting anything back. That's when you know you live. You know, you, you know the guy who did that. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I remember. Yeah, okay, yeah, I know who did that. That's that's nice of him. Yeah. Um. Speaking of giving gifts, somebody's birthday is in fifteen days. Ah, uh, yeah. What do you want for your birthday? I'd See, man, I've been really trying to save up for an Xbox, like the newer Xbox, that or a PC. But like, I'm not I, you when you were 15. No, I know. Like, that's <laughs> what I'm saying is like, I'm not gonna ask you to buy me a whole console. That's stupid to ask. But like, like maybe. Why do I feel like that's what you're asking? No, like I was thinking like maybe we could go half and half. Not even, or just like, just like a fucking. How much are they going for? That's no. what I have no idea about. I think uh, we're gonna have to do I some s- research. Yeah, I saw at EB Games. I remember uh, they had it for three ninety nine. I believe. Bullshit. Yeah, no, no. I saw it. the new Xbox. Xbox. New Xbox three ninety nine, three hundred and ninety nine. Yeah, if it if that's the case, I will definitely yeah. split one with you. That that's what I'm saying because like I see some online that they're like eight hundred and ninety nine. I'm like, uh, what? These are probably like fresh, like fresh, brand brand new, just made. But then I'm thinking, like, okay, then why EB Games selling them for half the price? Oh, are they the broken ones? That's that's what I'm curious about. Like, like, I don't care if it's, like, slightly used, but if it's, like, progressively used, like, a little bit long. Like, the new Xbox hasn't been out for, what, I think a year now? Just barely? No, not no, even. not even. It came out in September. Yeah, so not even a year. So I doubt that thing would have any, like, sort of damage towards it. Well, that's, yes and no. When they released both consoles, there were both, there was problems with yes, a lot of them. Yes, there was. But they would have them fixed by now, right? So they would. It's not like customers sent it back to be fixed. That's true. They just gave new ones. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Um, but uh, I remember kids were blowing into the Xbox with their vapes. The brand oh, new that was Xbox. the dumbest yeah. shit. And they're like, "Oh, like look how shit the Xbox is." It's like, did you really just buy a whole console to and make it vape in it? Yeah, to give yourself publicity. Saying that Xbox is bad because the PlayStation should be better. Like, I'll admit, the PlayStation 5 looks amazing. I love it. It's got that nice, slick, white looks look. looks like it's a piece of alien technology. Yeah, it looks, it's something, it's like it. out of this world, and I love it. It's cool. I wish Xbox did something, you know, cool, like did, as cool as that, but. I feel like that was the logo at one point. Out of this world. <laughs> oh, maybe actually. I Sorry, can't. out of this world. <laughs> Could have been. But I wish Xbox did something unique. Like, not just a box. Like, I get an Xbox, but come on. Do something, be, like, creative. Like, like uh, an assorted pattern. Uh, fucking, almost like Rubik's Cube type thing. You know, you could flip the disc thing at any point so it's facing upwards, downwards. That would have been sick. You know, have, like, a Rubik's Cube thought idea. 
of an Xbox. Okay, first of all, relax. Oh. <laughs> Second of all, I have no fucking clue what you're talking. Okay, okay. So like, you see your PS4 right now? You see how there's like two, the two, like the line that's divided yes. in the middle. So just imagine you have that, but you can twist the top or twist the bottom any position you'd like. So you have like the USB cords facing to the right. The disc, uh, disc insert would be facing up. Uh, okay, like, so I understand what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Why? Why would they do that? Well, think think how much easier it would be to like access your Xbox. Think how much easier it would be to break it. Well, of course you're gonna have to, you know, put safety pers- like uh, problems that, on and it. it would be so much bigger because you're wasting all of that room. Well, there see, there would have to it. be a hole in the middle for the wires to go up and down, mm-hmm. and it twists around. It would just it would okay no they would have like maybe a twist to a certain extent it wouldn't be like a full like three sixty rotation because yeah yeah that would that would definitely bust it. Anyway, I think we're out of time. I think so too. Uh, it has it's been great talking to you people. Thanks for listening. Leave a comment if you like. Subscribe if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, don't. <laughs> and uh, if you have any suggestions for what we should talk about next, uh, we would love be lovely to. Uh, Love to hear it. Yeah. All right. Have a good day. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.